Senator Rand Paul went searching through Capitol Hill looking for a secret repeal and replace plan for Obamacare that he apparently was left out of. He even wheeled around a copying machine seen here hoping to find and copy the legislation. I spoke to him a little earlier about this health care controversy. Well, sometimes if you really want something, you got to show up and ask for it. But I'm like anyone else. When I was told that I wasn't allowed to see the bill, I was a little bit even more interested to see the bill. But this is because it's a complicated matter. And so if you've got a thousand page bill that's hiding out in the basement of the Capitol somewhere, everybody should see it. Right. But but what kind of response? I mean, going around with a printer that really <laughs> drove home the point uh, that they, they've secreted this this uh, plan somewhere. And it's a plan that we all got to live by eventually. And I fully believe that the plan was inside the door that I knocked on. Interesting. And uh, I think it and the people behind the door disappeared out the back door. I bet they did. Because I was at the front door <laughs> looking for it. So, There's always an escape route. But what kind of response have you had? Letters and so forth. You know, the public at large, I think, is with us, particularly the conservative public that went to Tea Party rallies in yeah. 2010. We elected a Republican Congress on complete repeal. We elected a Republican Senate on complete repeal. We elected a Republican president on complete repeal. There's going to be a lot of unhappy grassroots conservatives right. if we give them Obamacare light instead of complete well, repeal. Well, what really fired everybody up, the Tea Party, uh, was that, that line from Nancy Pelosi, uh, we'll read it after we pass it, and I, we don't want the same thing to go on. I just want to put in, though, uh, uh, Paul Ryan's comments, because he, he disagreed that they're secreting it. Let's, let's play that sound and then get your response. We're not writing some bill in the back room in Harry Reid's office like Obamacare was written. We're going through the committee process. We're doing this step by step. We're having public hearings. We're all working off the same piece of paper, the same plan. So we are in sync, the House, the Senate, and the Trump administration. So Speaker Ryan says there's no back office, to which you say what? Uh, the only copy of the bill I've seen came from a news organization. It was leaked to a news organization and that we had to go to the news organization to get it. So we haven't gotten any written copy from anyone. And there's no indication this is going to go through committee on the Senate side. A traditional bill goes through open public committee hearings sure. with amendment on the House side and the Senate side. Independent bills often percolate forward and that are they come together at the end. My understanding of this process is it's being hatched mostly in secret. It's Obamacare light. It retains a significant part of Obamacare, mm -hmm. retains the Cadillac tax, retains a form of the individual mandate. Instead right. of paying the government, you're going to pay the insurance company. But it also creates a new federal entitlement program and gives it permanent increases of about 5 percent at least a year. Yeah, well, and, and as you say, it keeps the middleman in there. The best kind of health care payment is, is when you're dealing with your directly with your provider uh, so that you're you're in charge of your own money, which leads me to something President Trump said during his uh, speech before Congress. He talked about tax credits as a way to kind of empower individuals in health care spending. Let's play that tape and get your reaction. We should help Americans purchase their own coverage through the use of tax credits and expanded health savings accounts. But it must be the plan they want, not the plan forced on them by our government. So, Senator, shouldn't taxpayers be allowed to spend their own money? Isn't that getting to the heart of what you and all free marketeers want? Yeah, and in fact, that's what is in our replacement bill that I talked to the president about. So I think the president and I are in the same place, but there are different types of tax credits. If you get back your own money, I'm fine with that. If you get back someone else's money, that's an entitlement program. So the current House leadership plan, Obamacare Light, has a $14,000 per family credit that you get back that may not be your, that may be somebody else's money. And then they build into it an automatic 5% increase in that over uh -huh. time. That's a real problem so because bill, we don't have enough money for that. Your bill would have a proviso. A tax credit is just fine as long as you're a taxpayer. That is, you don't want it to become another welfare program. Exactly. And we also expand health savings account. And most importantly, in my replacement bill, we let every individual join a group plan through an association. Then they're protected against pre-existing conditions. If they get sick, their rate won't go up and they can't be dropped. And they also have the leverage of reducing price. So, for example, okay. in my state, there are 700,000 people are members of the credit union. 
I would let all the credit union members join a health care association. And if 700,000 people go to the insurance company, guess who's king? The consumer becomes king, not the it. big business. That's that's the key. Uh, by the way, please keep us up to date on what's happening yeah. with this printer. Yeah. I'd love to see where it goes. This could be a whole routine for the next year, you know, bringing that printer everywhere. Both myself and the copier are looking. Rand Paul's copier, hashtag <laughs> Rand Paul's copier. We are still looking. We're also looking for any legislators you find that look like they're writing the bill because they said they're writing it somewhere at an undisclosed location okay. this weekend. We, If you see them, please contact my office. Good stuff. Senator Paul, thank you so much for coming. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you.